In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick tulip. This is using um, my uh, Katie Sue, my Flower Pro by Katie Sue Designs uh, tulip, and uh, this is the peony mat. Okay, so obviously this has got the petals for Oriental peonies, uh, for classic peony, and also for uh, tulips, for uh, parrot tulips, which are all separate videos. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very quick little tulip, which actually is more of like a closed French or Dutch tulip, a little small one. And when you have seen the technique of using this, I'm going to be uh, using the medium sized cone for this tulip, and I'm going to be using the small petal, but you can use the large cone, and then you could actually use the, um, the large size petal, okay? So I'm using the small, uh, medium cone and small petal, but it said large cone, and the large petal work very well is a larger version of this. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, you would follow the directions uh, in your, um, as I said, uh, Flower Pro Book 1 for making a medium-sized cone. You can either do it in two parts or you can do it as an all-in-one cone, all right? And uh, so this makes your cone, this one particular one is shown as a two-part one, um, and we're going to use this for the base. Now, generally, this would be done in the same color as the tulip, obviously white, but if you're making colored tulips, you could also do this in pink or yellow, whatever color the tulip is going to be. But white is also fine for all colors. We're going to, once that's dry, we're going to uh, do same technique as I would do for uh, the peony. Uh, this is a number seven small, okay? So number seven small that goes through the hole. And uh, if you look at the classic peony, this is the way that I made the petals for the classic peony. It's just this is a little bit more simple because we don't have to vein the back of this because you won't see this, okay? So you're going to just make this into a little cone shape, about two-thirds of the height of the peony petal here. I'm going to put just a little touch of corn flour, corn starch onto that. And then you can just press this in using the flat back of the veiner. So this will just sort of press this in and then using your cosmetic sponge, you're just gonna pull this to the edge of the petals. So this is gonna just fill in the space here. And then once we take this out, so it's gonna flex this out. Now, of course, you could vein the back, but we won't see the back of this. So once you take this out, this gives you your Vein in, we're going to then use medium ball tool, just going to just soften around. So if you watch the parrot tulip, I use similar technique with the large ball tool, so it's going to soften around. And then with the Dresden tool, so this is on the unveined side, we're just going to work with the Dresden tool slightly on its side, just from the outside to the inside. So this is going to give you your, your petals. See the heavier veining will be on the outside. So what we're going to do now is going to Put these under a cup, or as you make them, put them into a plastic bag. So I have here, I'm going to start off with three. So I'm just going to pop these into the bag here like this. And then I'm going to actually put some egg white or glue all over my cone. This goes all over your cone like this. You're going to take the first petal, so you want the heavy side on the outside. And you just touch with your finger, so just hold your thumb at the petal. And you're going to put this up straight like this. You see how the pedal will just go straight up like this, okay? And then you're going to take the second pedal, so you're just going to leave that right hand side of the pedal open, and then the second pedal will just sit inside. And again, just come down to the bottom. So this will give you your second pedal. You see how that's going to go around. And then the third pedal, you're going to open up that side here, the third pedal, you're going to place this into position. And so that's going to tuck inside the second and on top of the first, you see? So you're going to create a spiral. Then using your little companion tool, what we're going to do here is we're going to just use the companion tool and you're actually going to go in here and you're going to press the left-hand side of each pedal. So the side that is closest to the cone, you're going to just press that in. So what happens is each of those three pedals, as you can see, have now covered the cone. And you're just going to bring this around here, around here, and around here and this will make the center of the tulip, you see? And then you're just going to use just a little bit of egg white or glue just to attach this. All right, so that will be the first three petals. And uh, so they will go like this. And then you're going to take then the next three petals that will be attached in the same way. So again, now these ones, you're actually going to turn them over, okay? I'm going to turn these over like this, a flat side towards you, and then you're actually going to brush the egg white here, just a little bit, about halfway down, 
the edge and then down the center about halfway. One, two, three. And these are going to go in between. All right, so you see where there's a gap there. You're going to just place this pedal so it goes in where there's a gap. And you're going to just put this on. All right, and then the next pedal again will just tuck inside this one so they will create a little bit of a spiral. All right, so you can see from the top here. So the next one is then going to go on. So position it where it needs to go, which is going to be on this join here. It's going to position this on, and then you're going to bring pedal number one across, okay? And then you're going to then do the last one, which is going to be pedal number three. So again, pedal number three will just go directly over that seam, and you're going to wrap this around here. And then just like the previous layer, we're going to just put a little bit of egg white or edible glue here, gum glue, just where the pedals attach. The tulip should be almost like straight on the side here. And you're just going to mold this around the bottom here, like that. So you're just going to just smooth this around the bottom. So just making sure that all of the paste just is sort of fairly smooth. Because remember, we don't have a calyx on this. Um, and that is your little, as I said, little uh, quick tulip, all right? So literally, you could make three of these in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Very, very quick. Of course, you have to have cones that are dry. But uh, as I said, this makes a great little tulip. And you can see that... Uh, your petals form this nice, uh, as I said, layer in the inside. Um, so in the next part, I'm going to show you how we dust this and finish this off. Once the tulips are dry, um, we're going to dust these. Of course, you could make these in different colors. I'm doing a white tulip, which is always very suitable for a different cake. So I'm going to use some super pearl dust. Um, this is a pump brush. Use this on the calla leaf. So you're just going to put a little bit of obviously pearl dust onto your tulip, all right? So it just gives a nice natural luster here. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of, uh, this is a uh, light apple green color, so very, very soft green, almost like a slightly yellowy green, yellowy green. I'm just gonna put just a little touch of that into the middle of the flower, so that's just gonna have a soft green in the center. And then I'm using that round brush there, and then I'm gonna take with a, a flat brush, I'm gonna do some just some stripes coming up the side. So I'm just gonna go in between, I'm just gonna do like three stripes, basically just up from the base. And of course you could do like I've shown on the peony and the parrot tulip, you could go around the edge with a very soft pink, for example. And then the very base there, I'm gonna use a little bit of prairie green, so just right at the very, very bottom, just gonna use this slightly darker green, which is a prairie green color. You can use a two bin, so if you watch my calla lily, we talk about the two bin here. Um, I'm going to use the tulips on the side of a cake, and you're going to see that in a separate YouTube. So I'm going to sort of do them with some leaves made in the same way as the parrot tulip leaf on that section, but I'm using uh, just a smaller version. So I'm just going to slide the two bin up to the base. You can also just tape this like three times. If you tape down, tape up, tape down, that will make the stem thicker. And as you will see on my um, calorie section, if you're using floral tape, just use the back of your scissors and that will get rid of the sort of lines on the floral tape. So that's just going to go up there. If you are using the two bin, um, you're going to use just a little bit of, uh, just a little tiny bit of spot of uh, glue here. So this is just a little tiny spot of hot glue, just right at the bottom here. So that is just going to hold the tube in to stop that um, falling down, sliding down, okay? And then we're going to lightly steam this. So we're gonna just take a flow steamer here and we were just going to very lightly steam the, um, the tulip. Remember when you're using pearl dust, you'll see in the calorie, we're just gonna lightly steam this and what this is gonna do is gonna just sort of bring your flower to life. So it's just going to give you that lovely natural luster that you have. Uh, with the uh, pearl dust um, and uh, this will be your, just your quick little tulip and as I said it's a fun one to make and just very very easy uh, for those who haven't had a lot of flower making experience you know this is a super easy one to do but a great one for like a small birthday cake you would you want to just make something quickly and remember I said you can make leaves in the same way if you watch my parrot tulip instruction you still use exactly the same technique but you're just making them smaller and skinnier and uh, you'll see those on as I said my finishing touches um, uh, video where I show how to sort of basically put all of these flowers from the new Flower Pro collection onto cakes and give you ideas of display. Um, so that is the little small, um, as I said, French Dutch tulip.